Hello, Alan m e m i n g l a v a Last week, I posted a video on Burmese particle G, and one of the viewers recommended that I make a video on the particle light also. So here it is. Light is another commonly used particle in spoken and written Burmese, but it is used in a few different ways that sometimes it can be confusing. In this video, I try to simplify as much as I can to explain how to use light as a particle in spoken Burmese. Hope it's useful. Let's get started. Okay, one way to use light is to emphasize an adjective or a verb meaning very or so. Another way is to emphasize an action verb, and then you can also use it sandwiched between two verbs, verb-like, verb-like pattern, to indicate repeated actions. And then, the next way is using "like" with the meaning as it is. I'm going to show you examples for each of them. First of all, let's see how to use "like" with the meaning of "very" or "so." Do you know her? She is one of the famous Burmese actresses, and her name is Indra j o s i e n You might have seen her on Burmese TV channels if you're someone who lives in Myanmar. Let's say you see her on the TV, and she looks gorgeous, like in this photo. And you would say, "Wow, la like da, la like da, very beautiful, or so beautiful." La is an adjective meaning beautiful. La. You would simply say "la de, la de" to say someone is beautiful, but if you want to add "like" to say very beautiful, you cannot say "la like de." Cannot. It becomes "la like da, la like da," meaning so beautiful or very beautiful. We can also put "de, de" in the place of "da," and then it becomes "la de." La de, la de will become uh, like an adjective, which indicates um, beautiful. A m u l the me, a m u l the me is a lady. So la de, a m u l the me, a beautiful lady. If you add like, la like de, a m u l the me, what a beautiful lady or a very beautiful lady. La like de, a m u l the me. Let's see another example. Do de. Do means smart. Do de when you want to say someone is smart. Do de. Do like da. Do like da. Very smart. Let's say your son has got a pr- first prize in his class. You want to say, "Son, you are very smart." Ta ga do like da. Ta ga do like da. Ta ta is son. Ta ga do like da. Son is very smart. Son, you are very smart. Or in the same way that we just did, we can put de and say do like de ta. What a smart son! Or very smart son, do like de ta. Bu like da. Bu is an adjective meaning hot. Uh, can mention about weather or temperature. Bu like da. Bu like da. It's so hot. It's very hot. Bu lai de ni, bu lai de ni ni. It's day. Ha! Ah, what a very hot day. A very hot day. Bu lai de nui nui is summer. Bu lai de nui a very hot summer. E lai da e is cold. It's so cold. E lai da e lai de nia. Oh my God! It's a very cold night. E lai de nia nia. Night. E like day, nya. E like day, sao. Sao is winter. Sao. E like day, sao. A very cold winter. Like can also follow a verb to mean, uh, very or so. For example, mo ga yoa like da. Mo can mean rain or sky. Here it means rain. Mo ga yoa yoa is a verb. To rain, so if you translate this literally, rain rains too much. It's complaining. You are complaining that it rains a lot. Mu ga yo a lai da. You can also say yo a lai de mu. 
you are like that more. Okay, we have finished uh, looking at examples that use like as very or so. Let's go on to the next one that use like to emphasize an action verb. Let's use sa, sa for this example. Sa is a verb that means to eat. If you want to command someone to eat something, you can just say sa. For example, game mo sa, game mo sa, which means eat the cake. Game mo, game mo is cake. Game mo sa, or game mo sa ba, game mo sa ba. You add ba to be polite and to soften the tone. We can also say game mo sa lai or game mo sa lai ba. The meaning doesn't change much from game mo sa, game mo sa ba. But by adding lai, you put emphasis on the verb. By saying game mo sa lai or game mo sa lai ba, you are urging or encouraging someone to eat the cake and also you want them to eat soon. Let's say your mom bought a cake and told you that she put it in the fridge and she wants you to eat. She would say, And you would reply, I will eat. I will eat. is a sentence ending for future. You haven't done this action yet. or Then, after you have eaten, after you have eaten, she comes back and asks you, Sa lai la, sa lai la, have you eaten or did you eat? Sa lai la, you would reply, sa lai de, I have eaten, sa lai de, gong bi, gong, gong is a verb that means to be used up. So you have eaten the cake and the cake is gone now. Sa lai de, sa lai de. If you just say sa de instead of sa lai de, sa de is so general. It doesn't have an implication that you have finished eating. In this case, you have done eating. You say sa lai de, sa lai de. Or you can say sa lai bi, sa lai bi. I finished eating or I have eaten. Another example. Tell, bio. Pyo is a verb to tell. So this green friend asks uh, the yellow friend to tell something to a third friend. So uh, this green friend would say, Pyo lai, Pyo lai ba. Then the yellow friend would say, Pyo lai me. Okay, I will tell, Pyo lai me. Then after some time, the green friend asked, Pyo lai la. Did you tell? Have you told? Pyo lai la. The yellow friend said, Pyo lai de. Okay, I have told. I told. Pyo lai bi. I have told already. I finished telling. Pyo lai bi. Pyo lai de. Where? Where is to buy? So you want to encourage someone to go and buy something. Oh, there's a sale. Where lai? Where lai ba? Buy, buy. Where lai? Where lai ba? Where lai me? Okay, I'll buy. Where lai me? We'll buy. Where lai la? Did you buy? Have you bought? Where lai de? I bought. I have bought. Where lai de? Where lai bi? I bought. I finished buying. Where lai bi? Okay, let's go on to see some examples of verb like verb like pattern to indicate repeated action. I have also mentioned about this in my video Beginner Dialogue 4 named Long Time No See. You can go and watch it later if you haven't. If you want to say doing two verbs happening alternately and rapidly, you can use verb like verb like pattern. For example, a like sa like. You eat, you uh, you sleep, you eat and repeat. A like sa like. A ma, a home ma at. A ma at home. A like sa like ni de ni is to live. A ma a like sa like ni de. You are doing uh, eat, sleep, and repeat at home. A ma a like sa like ni de. Sa like tao like sa to eat, tao to drink. You just eat, drink, repeat. 
Wow, life's so good. Just eat like sa like, sa like tao like. You just eat, sleep, drink, repeat. Okay? Toa like, la like. You go, you come, and you repeat. Toa like, la like. For example, New York ne yang gong go. Toa like, la like. Look there. New York ne yang gong go. So you, you go and come and repeat between New York and yang gong. Thai like, ta like. You sit, you stand up, and repeat. Thai like, ta like. Actually, this pattern can also be used with adjectives sometimes. For example, Yadi udu ga bu like, e like. Yadi udu weather, bu hot, e cold. So, Yadi udu ga bu like, e like. It means the weather is suddenly cold and suddenly hot alternately. Yadi udu ga bu like, e like. The last one I would like to show you is how to use like with the meaning of as it is. Let's see this. Jaunga nga go say like sa de. I will explain. Jiao cat nga fish sa to eat. Jiaunga nga go sa de. Cat eats fish. How does it eat? A saying like sa de. A saying like. A saying. A saying is something. Roar or something green. So, a saying like sade. Eats raw. A saying like sade. So, jangga nga go a saying like sade. Cat eats fish raw. Nga go a gaun like chat de. Nga go chat de. Cook the fish. Nga go chat de. Chat is to cook. How to cook? A gaun like. A gown is um, an animal as a whole, a gown. A gown like chate. So it means uh, cook the fish as a whole. You don't cut it in pieces. You cook the fish as a whole. Okay. Nghe dui osu lai bian de. Nghe dui. Nghe birds. Dui indicates plural. Nghe dui. Birds. Bian de. Fly. Bian is to fly. Nya dui bian de. Birds fly. How do they fly? Osu lai bian de. Osu is group. Osu lai. In groups. So nya dui osu lai bian de. Birds fly in groups. I think now you get the idea. Okay, we have done talking about light as a particle. Just in case you would like to know, like also has a meaning as a verb when it is not used as a particle. It means to chase or to follow. For example, ye ga tako na go like de. Ye, police, tako, thief, now is behind something or someone. Ye ga tako na go like de. Like de, to chase or to follow. So police follows the thief. Ye ga tako na go like de. Another meaning is to go well with or to be compatible. Di ing ne 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 like de. Di ing ing blouse. Di this. Di ing this blouse. Ne ne is uh, is you. You can use ne with your friends. Ne ne. The engine ne ne like de. So this blouse suits you, or this blouse looks good on you. The engine the bambi like de. Or you can also say the engine the bambi ne like de. This blouse the engine the bambi, these pants like de go well. The engine the bambi like de. This blouse and these pants go well. Tu do a dwe like de. A dwe is a pair, and here it means a couple. Tu do a dwe. They are a couple, or or they they as a couple. Like de. Look good together, or they are compatible. So tu do a dwe like de. They as a couple look good together. 
However, these two meanings are the most common meanings for which we use like. There are more to its meaning as a verb. I am not mentioning all of them here. You will see more as your level of Burmese advances. Okay, that's it. I'll end my video about like here. I tried my best to explain. However, if you are a beginner, there can be things you didn't understand or you find confusing. So, if you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.